Yo, what's going on, everybody? We're going to do a video today that we haven't done in a while. We're going to review the Apex Season 14 patch notes. I haven't looked at these yet, and what I'm being told is that this might be an absolute W for, our, for us here in Apex Season 14, uh, the Hunted patch. So let's go check it out. <clears throat> I haven't looked at any of this so far, but obviously we got, all I know is that we got the new Legend. Um, you guys can watch. You've probably already seen what she does, but we can at least go over a little bit. She's the survivalist sniper. Um, you know, it's as it is in Apex all the time. This, 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 the champion and the heirloom are always leaked way before the season even starts. But here you go. She's got, if you don't know, her passive spotter lens. Aim down sights to scout with your enemies. Um, unarmed or with a mid-range uh, scopes. Um, you can see a bullet drop indicator to see where your shots will land. That's actually really cool. I like that little thing because, you know, one of the hardest things is sniping. So this might end up becoming one of the side, one of my side mains. You know, Bloodhound's my my favorite. But, you know, she might end up being a side main and even taking over for Bloodhound because I do like sniping. But um, she'll be interesting to see. But anyways, tactical echo location position, wing companion echo and launch towards them. Basically, you know, it's the same as Newcastle without the shield. Um, and then her ultimate is use custom sniper rifle that'll ta tag um, an enemy, and then also makes it take bonus damage, which is going to be really annoying uh, for fights. So she's definitely going to be what we call an anchor champion. She's going to be the one that usually sits back, probably snipes with the long range, and has something in closer range to protect herself if someone comes up on her. But it, this is going to be interesting to see. What I'm, I'm expecting, the combination here, is this is going to be the team composition to kind of hold the edge of the circle and keep rats out. You're going to have Vantage, I believe her name is, Vantage. Uh, for the, sc the scopes and seeing and, and the damages. And you have Seer to find out where all the rats are hiding. And then probably the third will be anything from Gibby, Valk, any kind of initiator kind of thing. You can even go with Bloodhound too, just all sorts of seeing champions. But this is going to change a little bit of the meta. It's going to be harder to rat for sure if you put her with Seer. Um, it's gonna, it's a, I, I think she's going to be cool. Anyways, moving on. So what we got here is they changed King's Canyon update. Um, they're bringing Skull Town and Thunderdome. Uh, they were sunk by a massive explosion caused by Loba. Now that the salvage operation is complete, the syndicate has rebuilt the area for Apex uh, Dragon Machines have refilled the space with sand and ocean floor uh, with a new battleground. Here we go. As you know, there's some changes here. I don't know if they have pictures of it, but they've changed um, some of the areas. <clears throat> the middle area over here, typically where all the, the third parties happen every time you fight. This got changed a little bit. Um... They filled in the hole right here. As you can see, the, this used to be a skull area right there. Now they got all this stuff going on here. They fixed that. And I can't really remember what else they filled in, but I know that's there, and they, they changed this area right over here. Um, but here we go. We got level capping plate can increase. This is pretty cool. So they're adding, what this is basically, basically saying is they're adding prestiging to Apex, which is pretty sick. Um, instead of being level cap 500, I think it's like 2,000 now. So, you know, you get to 500, and then, oh, three additional tiers of so five. 1,000, 15, no, sorry, 2,000, I was, I was, I think I said 2,000, but you get the 500 prestige, start at level one, get the 500 prestige, it's like Call of Duty, Call of Duty got rid of it, Apex stole it from them, there you go, there's that, um, Snow Battle Pass Challenge cannot be completed in either Battle Royale or non-Battle Royale mode, that's pretty cool, um, you, and for our arena players out there, they're probably not going to have to play Battle Royale, so that's good, but they might still have to do some, but now you can get, you're guaranteed an heirloom, by the way, I missed this, guaranteed an heirloom, uh, now because of the prestige system, so that's cool too, um, <clears throat> Here is season 13 ranked results uh, for split one of season 13. We have the following max tier distribution among players who have played more than 10 hours versus season 12s. So this is basically at the end of season 13, anyone that's played more than 10 hours, 10% of players are bronze, 28%. This is cool. They haven't done this before, by the way. 28% is uh, silver, 44% is gold. That's half of everybody. 40% is platinum uh, compared to season 12, where it's 39 and 12, 1.25% is diamond, 10% is masters and apex predators. Now you can see the differences here. Pretty crazy honestly um 44 percent of gold uh compared to 25 percent. so basically platinum became gold uh or excuse me gold became platinum from season 12 platinum became diamond and diamond became masters um so there's that that's the changes but here's as of august oh when was this so this is as of august 2nd so this is as of last week because this video has been recorded on the 8th when the patch notes just came out um max distribution is split two after 10 hours is we are seeing more people in platinum more people in diamond and l less people oh no excuse me more people in masters um i could definitely say that's the second split has been easier from i've only i've only probably played i don't even think i've played 10 hours of the second split yet uh, but just because i just i was over apex just you, there was a lot of bugs and whatnot but anyways it's not about me this is about the patch but you can see we, we it's increased um we got 35 and 40 so everyone that was in silver and bronze seems to have moved up into these tiers or maybe we got more players kind of crazy distribution here but Here's our 14, ranked 14, season 14 changes. Entry cost, it's going to cost five more to all entries. So you're gonna, it's going to cost more. Uh, remove diminishing return on eliminations. Sick. Love that change. You now can get, if it's 10 points per kill, it's 10 points per kill forever. That's sick. 
Um, rank reset, no change. Resuming ranks reset of six divisions. Okay, so you lose six divisions at rank reset. Um, balancing update, laser sights. It's a new attachment for to replace barrels on SMGs and pistols. Sick. Love that. I am a hip fire main. Having laser sights is going to be so cool. Love that. And reduced hip fire spread. Oh my god, for us hip firing mains, this is gonna be fantastic. Um, crate rotation, G7 scout, returns the floor, Volt. Uh, this is gonna be deadly. Volt back on the floor. G7 was annoying for a while. I don't think it's gonna be much of a game changer to Volt, though. That will be. Bocek enters the crate. Thank God. G guns broken, in my opinion. I, it's, I'm just glad it's gone. Rampage enters, enters the crate, I guess. The only good thing about the Rampage is early game. If someone had a Rampage at the beginning of the game, you were fried. You were done for. <clears throat> Wingman's back. Car's back. Devotion in RE45 enters the crafter. Dumb. Why would you put the RE45 plus hammer points into Devotion? No one's going to be making that. Why? Unless, there, unless there's changes down here to what they did to it. Why would anyone craft any of this? These are two, two other than the bow check. These two guns are still broken. The wingman's filthy. The, the, the car is filthy. Best SMG right here. Even with the Volt back. This is still the best SMG. It's going to out, it out damage the Volt. And the wingman just like three shots and you're dead. Three to four. Crazy. Um, Longbow DMR is going to be a gold weapon. G7's gold, Mozambique's gold, R99 and Hemlock. Eh, I'm not impressed. SMG's Hempfire spread increased. Wait, didn't they just say up here? Oh, that's with laser sights. You get less hip fire with laser sights. Got it. So now more hip fire spread with SMG's, more hip fire spread with assault rifles. They don't like hip firing in this game, apparently. Recoil improvements for the EVE 8 now takes stocks. Okay, remove one pellet from the blast pattern. Okay, fire rate is being increased, so it shoots faster. Pellet pal damage has been decreased. Bolt rate of fire increased. So it's going to shoot a little bit faster, but they made it do less damage. I don't know if this is a nerf or a buff. Uh, you, you tell me your opinions in the comments that you think is a nerf or a buff. I want to say this is kind of a nerf. I don't know. The EVA 8's not been that great in the past few seasons, so no one really cares. Um, now that this is in the box, damage at full drawn has been increased to 70. Tempo draw increased. So yeah, we expected this. They were gonna make it bigger because they're better because it's in the it's in the care package. Uh, Rampage damage increased to twenty eight to twenty from twenty six. It comes with the thermite. I told you, I knew this. Whenever someone told me the rampage was coming on into the uh, crafter or in the, the loot box, I was like, it's gonna have a thermite grenade in it. It's got to. I don't know if this means it's permanent, but it should be. That will only makes sense. Um, damage reduced to fifteen. I think that's normal bolt damage. Car no longer takes barrel attachments. Well, that's because it's an SMG, right? Isn't it, isn't barrel replaced by hip fires by lasers? Isn't that what they set up at the top? Uh, G7 damage reduced, hip fire multiplier reduced, uh, double tap on up, uh, double tap, pop pop, burst fire delayed. Okay, so I don't think it comes with one now, but the G7 still kind of, we'll see if it's any better than it was, but I think it's still kind of trash. L star, <clears throat> increased projectile speed, increased number of shots before overheat at base from 24 to 20. Wait. Oh, okay, so you can, it, it, um, okay. Move bright red flash when hitting non armored targets. This is a buff. This is the buff. The L-Star might come back to season 11 days. Remember season 11 L-Star? Oh, that thing was filthy, bro. RE45 increased iron sight FOV to 70 to be consistent with other pistols. Increased strafe speed by 5%. Not enough to put it in the crafter. Wingman now uses sniper ammo and magazines. I don't know. This, this just it encourages a wingman charge rifle combo. This just in, it encourages a toxic combo of those two. But anyway, sniper ammo inventory stacks increased to 28 from 24. This is bad for charge rifle mains. We're going to get so fried. Sniper ammo boxes now contain 14 rounds instead of 14, 12. Oh, no, dude. Unless they did something to the, the, the charge rifle down here, we're going to see more of that. Uh, Spitfire recoil adjustments to increase vertical barrel climb. Interesting. Uh, Spitfire now uses light ammo and magazines. What? Is this, is this their solution? I've been complaining for seasons that there's not enough light ammo ARs. Is this their, the solution? Well, I'll just make a Spitfire light ammo AR. Boom. That's our solution. Dumb. So that means, does that mean it's not going to have bullet punch and slow people down? Because it doesn't only heavy ammo do that? 30-30 dual loader has been worked. In, it's the base 30-30 repeater. Cool. That's cool. Now it takes skull piercing. Oh, dude. Skull piercing rounds for the 30-30. Oh, no, bro. 30-30 is going to be king this season. Especially, what are we starting out with? What? Is it King's Canyon? Well, you have um, <clears throat> King's Canyon and Storm Point, so this is going to be gross. Skull Piercer is a disgusting hop up. Massive projectile growth reduced, base fire rates down, dual loader removed. That makes sense. Dead Eye's tempo has been worked into this. What are they doing? Now, this automatically has Dead Eye tempo? I mean, I guess it's better. You can never find it on the ground anyway, so it's not like it matters, actually. Double tap. Added burst fire mode to Eva 8 and G7 Scout. Burst fire. That'll be interesting to see. Skull Piercer, 35% headshot damage increase on Longbow Wingman. Not the wing. They're putting it on the wingman? 
They're bringing it back for the wingman. This is broken. Oh no. Like the wingman need to do more he headshot damage. They're going to give it skull piercer too. Oh my God. Move Dead Eye's tempo and shadow caps from fluid loot. Boosted loader has been reduced to epic quality from legendary. That makes sense. You, I mean, no one ever uses it. It's only for like one gun. It's dumb and the hemlock kind of sucks. Um, unless it's the early game. Backpack, gold pack. Now, okay, we all seen this earlier. This has been a leak for whatever. Deep pockets. Um, you can now stack your mech hits to three and Phoenix hits to two. And batteries to three, by the way. Gold shield pack just is the same thing with the, the backpack. Or the gold shield now does... Uh, Gold knockdown shield, Jesus. Now does what the backpack did. Um, and then we have Arc Star reduced stick damage to from on armor to 10 from 40. What? Oh, so whenever you get hit by it, you get hit with 40 initially. And now it's only 10. Removed aim slow on stick. Remains on detonation. Ah. Detonation damage increased to 2075. Huh. People complain about Dark Star a lot, and I have done it every once in a while, but at least the aim slow is not there anymore until it blows up. Interesting. Explosive holds, added blue attachments to possible spawns, added laser sights to pool, reduced spawn rate of gold magazines. Dumb. Valk. Legends. Volk. Valk. All right, there we go. Now we're going to see changes to legends that we want to see. Let's see. Vol VTOL jacks. Acceleration on activated decreased by 8%. Okay. Fuel consumption activation increased by 33%. Aerial boosting strafing will take a 20% debuff when hit by slowing effects. Added a third orange state to the fuel meter UI between 60 and 70. So this is a, this is the, we're, we're seeing nerfs finally to Valk. Missile Swarm, um, aim slash turn, slow removed, re removed, uh, move slow duration decreased from 2.5 to 20. That's a, this is a buff, reduced explosion radius. So buff, or we got buff, buff, nerf, and then Skyward died, height reduction of 25%, fuck yeah. Launch time reduced from five. Okay, so now you can launch quicker. Couple with the height reduction players in Valkyrie now travel upwards at a slightly so slower speed. Okay, so it it's quicker to take off, but it's slower flying up in the air, and you can can't go as high. Sick. We needed this. I don't know if this is going to help any, but it, it, it's a definitely 25% is a much needed. Horizon, black hole adjustments to the newt's hitbox to make destroying it more reliable. Black hole newt uh, takes 50% more damage from explosives. That's pretty cool. Uh, Watson, improvements to perimeter security placement. We needed a nerf for her. This or a nerf for Horizon. This isn't what we wanted to see. Her grab lift is what, what needs nerfed. Um, not, not the black hole. The black hole is already easy enough to kill. Watson improved to permits to perimeter security placement systems. I mean, that's cool. But what else we need to see is her, her, I don't get why Octane heals really quickly for his health, but Watson's shield re regeneration is stupidly slow. It should be, it should be even, honestly, if they're going to be the same champion with different effects, they should be on, on par, but they're not. It's dumb. Um, Newcastle retrieve the wounded, increased move speed of, by 25% sick. Uh, reduce turn slow by 50% sick. Increase white knockdown shield health to 200 sick. Increase blue knockdown to 300. That's that's cool. That's cool. Um, it's going to be harder to kill Newcastle when he's rezzing, so you're going to be more inclined to res. Um, mobile shield, 500? Yikes. And it moves faster? Ooh, this is a huge buff. Add a turn slow to electric, electrical barrier effects. Increase the safety or severity of the slow effect to movement. Oh, interesting. Mad Maggie, projectile locks so it shoots faster. Wrecking Ball will travel twice as far while dropping the same amount of magnets. Duration increased from 5 to 10 seconds. Magnet spawn delayed by a little bit. Uh, Wrecking Ball will now deal damage to enemy placeable objects. Blood Market, Castle Walls, whatever. They're cool and then fix Wrecking Ball, not building and slowing enemies. <laughs> Blinding. It's supposed to blind enemies? Oh, yeah, when it blows up. I mean, this is a buff, but it's not enough to play Mad Maggie. We'll see. Rampart now knows friendly collision on armored covered placement. Cool. Caustic fixed gas ramping ramping bug where transitioning from friendly to enemy gas would initially damage for more than intended. You know what's dumb? Every other champion's abilities hurt the same, like their counterparts. So if Rampart so, uh, ult hits a Rampart, it hurts her. If a, a Gibby ult hits a Gibby, it hurts him. But Caustic, because he wears a gas mask, Caustic ults don't hurt other Caustics. I find that silly. Um, Mirage decoys will not be scanned by Valk while well, skydiving. That's cool. Mirage decoys will not be picked up by Seer's Heat Seeker. That's even cooler. Fixed a bug where Mirage decoys were picked up by Seer's exhibits as AIs and not players. Oh, this is sick. This is a good buff for, for Mirage. Not enough to make him better. He needs a rework, a little bit of more of a rework, but that's good enough to kind of like fool the Seer a little bit. Dead Totem will now show a placement preview when activated instead of placing immediately. Kind of cool. Crafting update. Teams team use harvesters. When any player interacts with a materials harvester, all players and team will be given materials. Oh, that's sick. So now only one person has to go for the goo. The blue goo can be just taken by anybody and everyone gets it. That's awesome. I like that. Remove shatter rounds from crafting. We knew that. Hammer points from base uh, crafting because it's already on the RE45. And heavy energy and sniper bags uh, prices. I mean, 
increased to 35 and blazer slide added to for 25 stock barrel prices have been reduced um skull piercing of course uh, double i don't know if i feel good about the skull piercing this could be annoying um uh, they added connect feeder double tap shock and bolt prices up reduced the two by four icog price to 30 cool i love the two by four that's my favorite um the maps rotated for public matches during hunted are king's canyon world's edge and storm point what happened to Olympus? Do we hate Olympus now? Is it broken again? I don't know. I miss Olympus. Um, all Battle Royale maps. Replicators and crafting materials have been rebalanced across the maps. Ring adjustment. Ring damage increased from 2 to 3. Equivalent to ring 2. Ring 1 pre-shrink time decreased. Oh my. To 60 seconds? Whoa. Ring 1 closing time. King's Canyon. From 410 to 430. World's Edge. 30, 342 to 432. Wait. Ring one pre-shrink time. Okay, so that you have less time before it starts shrinking, but it takes an extra minute basically to shrink. Oh no, this is only 20 seconds on King's Canyon. Jesus. Huh. Interesting. You got all these ring one closing times. So they you don't have enough as much time before it shrinks. So they're kind of speeding up the matches a little bit by the sounds of it. At least the ring one matches and everything's staying the same. And then they're just making it close a little bit slower, which is I mean, you're still losing a whole <laughs> 120 seconds two minutes basically um of time to loot before these start closing so that's crazy it's gonna get people are gonna have more time to or less time to rat in my opinion more less time to rat and they're gonna have um they're gonna get more time to be be shot honestly there we go world's edge um removes some frustrating final ranks and staging good we love that uh fragment east loop buffed cool and then added oob to west rocks at lava siphon cool um at least they did that after the the season's over that's fantastic for us love that thank you um just like they did with storm point last well, last wipe uh quality of life new map mode um map mode map name ui so we got a new map mode ui winning and champion tags are added to the scoreboard cool uh added ability to use tap interact prompts when they could flick with hold, uh, reloading your down teammates. Oh, that's good for what controller players, right? I'll never have that problem as a PC guy. Um, added flourishing to the crafting materials in the top right of the HUD when they increase. Oh, cool. Switch to items when they become craftable. Cool. Added accessibility switch on for turning on and off tech. To, don't care. Um, when dropping from the dropship, the location of the POI player lands is in, in, in is now displayed. Ah. Wow, they put a lot into this. Bug fixes. We're almost done. Hit fire reticles now. Change size based on FOV. Well, we never even had hit by a reticle, so whatever. Um, <laughs> uh, or no, we did. Yeah, sorry. I was thinking about the hit by a laser. Um, fixed bug. We're canceling lifeline revival. We'll cancel it to for the other teammates also being revived. That's weird. I never had that issue. Fixed bug where players could not deal melee damage to cost of gas barrels. Okay. Fixed an issue where the buy menu would close each time a teammate completed a purchase. Interesting. Crypt has been now destroys Watson pile on cool that's pretty good that's actually insane uh fixed issue for where uh crypto's heirloom animated audio would play globally oh that's kind of cool i never knew that was a thing fiction issue where players can sometimes get stuck when crouched between a replicator and a black market that's happened to me fixed bug where players could not unlock a fully kitted badge interesting oh who cares i already have that that doesn't affect me um fix a bug where players cannot switch ammo tights car smg newcastle fix for newcastle could get stuck in his ultimate pat animation while riding a zip line fix a bug where throwables placed on a bubble shield would start floating with the <laughs> after it disappears that's <laughs> i remember that bug fix uh for uh dang it holy crap newcastle's fix for case where players wouldn't take damage from ordinance or activate cast caustic barrels from position between a tactical shield and its drone i mean why would you oh and it was between the shield okay okay, okay. yeah 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 Newcastle fixed a bug where Thobles abilities placed in the mobile shield could float away after the mobile shield disappeared. Oh, silly. Um, fixed a bug for Wraith where she would still take damage in the ring while phasing. Fixed uh, reload bug with a Mastiff. I mean, honestly, we're just going to go through these. Vending machines are big. Fix an issue with blah, 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 blah. There it is. All right. There's the season 14 patch notes. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. We haven't done one like this in a while. We've been doing other things, but hey. Hope you enjoy. Season 14 looks like a W. It's going to be interesting. It's a big changes here. Um, rank's going to be different. Uh, the, the circle changes, the gun changes, shatter, sh skull cap, skull shooter, whatever, skull something is back in the rotation. That's gross. We hate that. But hey, thank you guys for stopping by. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a fantastic fucking day.